What's up, fool? What's up is we nothing but errand boys for Frosters, dawg. When we gonna get shit going? Oh, he don't want to be a gangster. He want to be a gangster. He want to go legit. Oh, he don't want to go legit. Nigga, make up your mind. I just want to get somewhere, dawg. That's all. Somewhere. Not nowhere. Like now. Man, I'll see you later, homie. Franklin! Hey, what's going down, homie? The market, my boy. Liquidity's a bitch. Get over here so I can give you the new repo list. All right, dog. I'll be around when I get a chance. Say again? How the fuck we get fired? Man, it was partly all that bullshit you pulled. And partly the repo's old man making me crash the car into the dealership. Ha! <laughs> you the crazy-ass motherfucker in this partnership. You better spend them while you got them. Yeah, if you say so. Michael? Dave? To what do I owe this pleasure? Just want to talk. You behaving yourself? Of course. And how are the kids? Great. Amanda, too. Wonderful. She sends her love. So how's the job? Good, thanks, yeah. New supervisor, Steve Haynes. He's on that TV show. Really? Good guy? He's okay. Well, it was nice to catch up. Same to you. Hey, look, man. Look! You were like a son to me. Employee of the month. Does that mean nothing to you? Man, the dude had a gun in my head. No loyalty, no integrity. You should have taken the bullet. My business, my totally legitimate business. You are fucked, my boy. Fucked. Franklin. What's up, bro? You good? Yeah, um, Trill. Trill, homie. How's your day? Yeah, I'm um, fine, I guess. I mean, he should be, right? He got you to help him out with stuff. I mean, I don't really see what he's adding in this partnership. Hey, look, bro. Man, I don't want to say too much on this phone, but things ain't good where I'm from, man. You know, ain't no glamour like you thinking, and, uh, man, I'm sick of putting myself out, man, and not getting paid, homie. Now, your dad, he seemed like a dude to put himself out, man, and got something to show for it. So I'm hoping some of that shine rub off on me, man. You feel me? Did you just say the streets are tough and it's tough if you're like a good man in a bad world? I share your pain, homie. For real. Homies for life. Yeah, man, I gotta go. Dad, tell me you did not just pull a Russian lady's house off the hill. What do you care? Man, Coach is like my friend. He ain't like your friend, Jim. Friends don't phone their friends' moms in their friends' dads' beds. Oh, oh, what? Yeah, don't hang out with that guy no more. Doc, hey. Michael, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc, you know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. Franklin! What's up, Jim? Not a thing, Holmes. Actually, we're a little worried about Dad. Shit, is your dad okay? I mean, how deep is he back in it? Cause he's just like acting real weird. I mean, normally he's just like quiet seething style angry, and now he's vocal, violent, and scary angry. I don't know, man. I ain't saying your pop should be out pulling scores and shit, but dude, he ain't meant to be sitting on no fucking couch either. I know what you mean, but just don't let him get killed. What happened? Don't worry, it doesn't concern you. Is he dead? No, but I might be soon. Thank you so much. What are you talking about? Nothing. Nothing. Just forget about it. Man, what's up? Hey. Hey. So, Michael, this guy Franklin, what's the deal? Uh, he's, uh, you know, kind of like a new personal assistant. Jimmy says he's a gangster. 
that he broke into the house. Yeah, Jimmy says a lot of things. Look, there was a misunderstanding. Jimmy's fault, by the way. Franklin's a good kid. I'm trying to help him out. It sounds shady. I don't like it. Well, luckily, I don't give a shit what you like. What's up, homie? Hey, look. Chop got to stay around your crib for a while, homie. That's cool? Yeah, man, it's cool. Shit's the best place for him anyway. Ha! <laughs> like it ain't nobody out there gunning for your black ass. Bullshit, nigga. Just take care of it, man, all right? All right, I got you, dawg. Is he dead? I didn't kill him. But I should have. Well, he isn't answering his cell, and he didn't show at the tennis club. Well, he must have skipped town, as he should have. Next time I'll run your street skank out of L.S. I bring one to the house and ask you to pay? You're more than welcome. Yes? Look, Trace, I, I'm sorry. You ruined my life. I've given you everything, babe. If you've seen how your mother and I got brought up, you calling me to bar me? I called to apologize. Well, you've done that. Goodbye. Love you, Angel. Hey, man, what's up? I feel like going on, my dude. Michael DeSanta. Mr. Madrazo. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm working on something. You'll have that money soon. Good. Well, I would have wanted to keep you from your work. Mr. DeSanta. Hey, I just wanted to check. How much was it you needed for those repairs? It was a mill or something, right? It was the 2. 2.5 range. Something over 2.5 will be sufficient. That's right. Mr. DeSanta, I'm starting to get worried. The contractors need to be paid. I don't know what to say. I'm working on it. Don't say anything. Just get me the money. Next time, it will be a machete, not a baseball bat. D-Unit, sup? Just checking in. Hey, I know I've been kind of busy lately, but I wanted to see if you were okay. I'm terrible. The common routine of having a cranky alcoholic slumped in front of the TV or passed out on a sun lounger is completely evaporated. I don't even know what to do with myself. Ha ha, very funny. I'm not saying you are, but if you are robbing and probably killing again, can you please not get shot or arrested in the house? It'd be really embarrassing. Well, maybe if you were working, I wouldn't have to. Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky from Life Invader. I know you're the bro who deactivated Jay, bro. Oh, <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, pal. What you do's your business, bro. Anyway, Jay really got a big head once people started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. They reintegrated my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. And now, my shares ain't worth dick. Sorry about that. I need work. And I thought, maybe you could provide. I mean, I'm smart enough to track you down, aren't I? I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up. Hey, little homie. Hey, what's cracking, Stretch? Shit, it must be nice speaking on a cell phone that don't spend half the day up your ass. Where are my dudes, motherfucker? It's like membership payment time. Oh, shit. I I'm sorry, man. I'm a little short right now, you know? Well, maybe your ass should get out and work for your snaps like the rest of us, nigga. I put in the grind while you was wearing diapers and getting your ass white. If you and Lamar wasn't so stupid to set up a deal where the ballers fool wanted to clap your ass, we'd all be fine right now. Man, that was LD's deal, nigga, not mine. Man, I'm out. Punk, you owe me. Oh, it's that dude. I was just hearing about you. People talk, huh? Don't listen. Tanisha ain't people, nigga. She's somebody. Man, that was just a misunderstanding, dawg. That girl still think I'm into her. She won't leave me alone. 
mystifying motherfucker. I wonder how she got that idea. Hey, stay strong. I'm here for you if you need to talk. Man, fuck you. You calmed down since that recycling job, dude? Yeah, I'm calm. Since I'm dealing with professionals instead of you clowns. Use a professional pain in the ass. At least stretch out now and I ain't gotta run with you suckers no more. <laughs> Shit, good luck. You fools need it. Trevor! Hi! Why haven't you called about that new opportunity if you fuck things up for TP Industries? No, no, no! I just thought with everything that's happening, just say the word! Mr. The Chang's word. ready I've to- I've said it! I'm on my way. Hey, Trevor! You found Michael Townley? I was... I'm looking! Look faster! Boss! I really feel we're close to a breakthrough, Ron. I hope so, Trevor. I really do. But I'm a little worried. Of course you are. I mean, we've been here before, on the cusp of a big deal, then, well... Well, what? Ron? Nothing. No, not nothing. What? What? Don't make me say it a third time. Well, someone always upsets you and- So you're saying I'm too sensitive for this career path? Exactly. You're a tortured soul. That's just what I meant. You know, I think you may be right there. Trevor? Michael Townley, where is he? Um, uh, I don't know where. Find him, you idiot! Speak! You know I don't like using these things. They're listening. Then make it quick. That business thing's been set up. The Chinese guy, Mr. Chang, is at the inn. You said that on the phone? What the fuck is wrong with you, damn it, Ron? Now I'm gonna have to discipline you and you know how I feel about that! Trevor? You called? No shit! What's happening? My ex-wife called me again. Man! There is nothing worse in this world than an ex-wife. A perpetual reminder of life's mistakes. A dreadful mistake. She's thinking of suing me again. For what? You live in a trailer. She heard my radio show. If she heard your radio show, she should pity you, not sue you. <laughs> That's nice, Trevor. No, Ron, it's not. It's unkind, but it's also true. Your ex-wife was a bitch. I did you the favor of a lifetime when I scared her off. You did. You really did. If after 12 years of happy marriage, one simple threat of dismemberment was enough to send her running, well, I don't know. And she was having an affair. We proved that. You're right, Trevor. She wasn't committed enough. Exactly, Ron. Now get back to fucking work, all right? What are you yabbing to me for? Hey, Lester. Mike, hey, uh, I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store take to your account. Madrazo's already got the house money, so you can rest easy there. <laughs> ah, thank God for that. Hey, Trace, what's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life! I did? I thought I'd already ruined your life. Remember after that boat thing? Take this seriously! Do you know how bad I wanted that? Famer shame is like an amazing opportunity! You're such a fucking fuck, you really are! You'll get over it. You'll see, I did you a favor. Never! I hate you! Hey, keep your eyes open and you're used to the Don't time, okay? call me! Trey, come on! I hate you! I wish Trevor was my father! You can't mean that! Don't call me!
Hello? That's all I get? It's me, Jimmy! Uncle Trevor! Oh, it's Trevor, shit! Wow, hey, hey! Jesus, your ability to speak goes along with your waistline? You don't need to answer that. Hey, look, seeing as you rolled on your sister so easy, what else you got, Tubbs, huh? I want bank details, contact list, anything and everything your dad's hiding from me. Um, uh, um, uh, 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 uh Christ, your brain really has softened. You're on downers, aren't you? Cannabis? The things that drug does to people. Don't bag on weed, bro. It's just, it's just, you're making me nervous. <sighs> Bank accounts, Jim. Get them for me. Pop, seriously? Tracy hates you. What, because of that Laszlo thing? She should really hate you. Because you're the one who told us where she was, you little snitch. Yeah, well, whatever. So... Um, Uncle T, man? What's the deal? He's in town for a while. I know we really don't talk about the whole name change thing, but is that, like, cool? I always thought we'd change the name to get away from him. It's fine. Trevor won't hurt you. I know that. Trevor loves me. I'm worried about you. It'll be okay. Frank, bro. Hey, what's up, Jim? Dude. You need to speak to Dad, all right? He's, like, gone totally fucking nuts. Like, beyond... Yeah, man, shit. He's under a lot of pressure right now, dog. But he seems all right to me. He's not. I'm telling you, he's not. Okay, well, shit, I'll keep an eye on him for you. Frank, dog, you alive? Uh, yeah, man. Why you ain't been calling me? My bad, dog. But I've been kind of on the down low. Man, it's a lot of heat around, and I'm trying to cool off. Mr. Professional, the career criminal. Where's the fun in that? Nigga, the fun is in the paycheck, homie. But you ain't had none of those, huh? So you won't know. Lester, uh, what's up? The jewels have been fenced, and Michael's angry Mexican friend has been compensated for the house, so I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store job. Good work. All right, cool, man. Good working with you. Uh, I'm looking for Lester Crest. No, 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 that's, that's fine. He ain't much use to me anyway. Hey, G. It ain't G. It's T. Trevor. Exactly. Yeah, fine, what's up? Uh, you call me, nigga, you been smoking? No. Probably why I'm calling you rather than doing something more productive. Well, this is fun, but a little awkward. Exactly. I gotta go. Tracy, baby, you called? Yeah, look, Dad, we're worried. I'm worried, too. I really want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. You need help, like serious, serious help. And if you don't get it, you're going to be killed. Tracy, I love you. But you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy. That's all I could do. Man, that's the shit. Delete my number, okay? You moved out? I need you at home. Your mother's gone, and I... I know! I told her to go! Hello, Tracy! You're gonna die alone, Pop! I'm calling you back about a minute ago. Uncle T? Pork chop! How are you? Pretty shitty, actually. I want a new dad. Yeah, if I could trade your Pop in, I'd do it too. He's a hard guy to be close to. You use a hunting rifle, you'll only need 500 meters. <laughs> no, I joke, I joke. Unless you are thinking about it, in which case, let's talk. <laughs> we are brothers on scooters. Frank, man, all right. I was worried you'd be on the other side. 
The other side? What the fuck you talking about? You know, on my dad's team, but your team Jay Diz, so that's true. Whatever the fuck is going on with y'all two, man, I ain't getting caught up in. Mm -hmm. You lucky enough to have a dad, homie. So don't lose him over some stupid mm -hmm. shit, man. Call his ass up. Ah, Townley. Ah, uh, it's the Santa now. Your department set me up with the cover, remember, dipshit? And we can burn you just as easily. Look, I don't know why you're calling, but I need your help with Mr. K. Trevor's on his way. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. This, I gotta see. Who the fuck is this? The guy keeping you out of the gas chamber. Townley's on his way. We need to talk face to face. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. Oh, we can do more than talk, my friend. What's happening, homie? Man, have you spoke to Stretch? I want to know what happened with that thing. Yeah, homie, Stretch was as shocked as us. Really? But he didn't have half of Davis run up on him. Nah, homie, I don't think he was as shocked as us. Stop bugging, homie. You need to take a page out the crazy white man's book. That dude, cold. Look, man, keep an eye on stress, dog. I'm serious. I need to speak to you fast. Oh, is that right? Shit, I need to speak to your ass, too. What you taking some crazy white dude around the hood for, huh? Huh? Cause that crazy white dude's the only reason why we ain't buy a brick of plastic, motherfucker. He the reason why we still breathing. It look bad, little homie. Man, I don't give a fuck how it look, big homie. Matter of fact, let me ask your ass something. Why you set us up with a motherfucker that try to run a lick on us and clap us any fucking way? That shit was real till you and your geek friend fucked it up. That's on you, punk. Ah, Brother O'Neill! Fuck you, man! Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're the guy stealing contracts! You burnt the farm! Killed my brothers! You had too many brothers! They needed culling! You're fucking dead! Aren't we all? We live and we die, that's our curse! Hey, you wanna expedite the situation? Come fucking find me! Vespucci Beach, Los Santos, you inbred hillbilly fuck! I'll be there, man! I don't know when, but I'll be there! Alright? Frank, hey, I gotta say, it's good working with you. And that's not just because you're cheap. Cheap? Man, I ain't even been paid. Well, you're gonna be, and when you are, it'll be cheap. But that's not why I like you. Youth, ambition, stupidity. That's what I see in you. Man, fuck you. Oh, 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 did I say stupid? I meant naive. Well, not even naive. More inexperienced. A blank slate. Hey, hey, man. Look, I'm glad for the fucking work. But I ain't paid to listen to this shit. Hey, what up, Stretch? Hey, man. Round the way, they saying you got this high-end whip lick on the go. Is that what's up? Man, don't listen to them fucking snitches, homie. You know what's happening. Where my cut, motherfucker? You got to bring the OG in, you dig? Nah, I don't dig, motherfucker. I ain't into that pyramid shit no more. Man, that gangbanging time warp shit is done. Man, when you win, you win, little homie. I'm gonna get my end. Is that right? Well, good luck with that. Hey, Mr. Madrazo. How's that rebuild going? Good. I need to see you. Come to La Fuerta Blanca, my ranch off Senora Road, and bring Mr. Clinton. Hey, look. Franklin? I hardly know the kid. I don't want him caught up in this. You'll need another pair of hands. All right, there's another guy. 
Trevor Phillips. Me and him are partners. Okay. I'll have my people messenger him. Franklin, hey! Have you, like, heard from my dad? Oh, yeah, man. And you should call him. He hasn't been back to the house for a while, and there's some creepy-ass dudes parked outside. Yeah, like I said, man, you should call him. He explained all that shit to you. So he's okay? Great. All right, don't tell him we talked. Yeah, all right, man, but call him. Trevor, I was worried. Where, where are you? Back in Sandy Shores, helping Ron run the business. Oh, you need me to come over? Bizarrely, we're coping just fine without you. Stay with Floyd. Anyone asks, you don't know where I am. But I do know. Trevor, dude, what's up? I had to leave town. Shit, I ain't surprised. I heard some funny stories about some dude pinching a real nasty Mexican dude wife, and I'm thinking to myself, maybe that's my man Trevor. I have no idea what you're talking about. Sure, bro, sure. You can call me when you get back in town. Trevor, hey. Look, I need to tell you something. Your dad's moved in with me. Moved in? Yeah, yeah. We're bunked in together, like old times. He doesn't need Los Santos, he doesn't need that crusty old hag you call mom, and he doesn't need two ungrateful brats. Whoa, Trevor, what? He's with me now. Get used to it. Family life was just an aberration. Hey, Devin. Mike! Hey, 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 whoa. Solomon cannot stop talking about you, bro. I mean, major man crush. Is the feeling mutual? Oh, hell yeah. I'm telling you, whoever said don't meet your heroes, man... Whatever. Anyway, I am the guy to know, right? I make things happen. You did me a favor with the kid in the car, so I did you a favor with the film shit. You keep being useful to me, I'll keep being useful to you. That sound good? Of course it does. Namaste, bro. Dad? You little fucking shit. I'm not talking to you. Go away! Fuck off! I'm not talking to you until you calm down. You drugged me and ditched me on the sidewalk? A talk is the least I'm owed. Don't you see the drugging is like a symptom of your own breakdown? Oh, I'll give you symptoms. How's a cracked skull sound? Goodbye, psycho. Get some help. Martin, hey, look. What have you done? What have you done? Where is she? She's safe. Look, I'm gonna find a way to make this right with you. That will take some doing. He grabbed your dick? He was probably just... Deal with your shit! What do you want? I miss you. I miss you too. But you gotta learn to chill the fuck out, you crazy nut job. Goodbye. Forget about me, okay? Michael, my boy, where are you? You're not in rehab. No, I just had to get out of town for a while. Good. Because all my friends who went to rehab came back very sanctimonious. We miss you at the studio. Whatever you said to Anton and Milton really worked. They're behaving. You're an important part of this process, Michael. Wow. Are you serious? Because that means a lot to me, Solomon. I'll come see you uh, as soon as I get back.
Dad. Hey, kid. How about a bike ride or something? I'm still not ready to see you, Dad. Sorry. Good luck with your life! Hello, who this? It's Amanda. Amanda DeSanta. We met at my house. Oh, yeah. Uh, shit, where you at? Look, I know that you and my husband and, and Trevor Phillips are... I don't know what the fuck you're up to, but I can make a pretty good guess. There's some weird things going on. Is he okay? I don't think okay is the right word. But he's alive. You should call him. He'll appreciate that. No, I don't want to speak to him. I just wanted to know he wasn't dead somewhere. Thanks. Don't tell him I called. All right. But look, he ain't doing too good without his family. Eat shit, asshole! Trevor! Martin! You know, I've been thinking about it. I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to accept an apology. Where is my wife? Patricia doesn't want to speak to you. And frankly, neither do I. I will find you! Okay. Well, I'll put some coffee on then. I'll see you soon. All right. We might be ready to move on this thing. Meet me up in the lab. Hey, Trevor. You got something to tell me? Oh, yeah. Our neighbor came looking for you. Elwood O'Neill. I told him you were back in Sandy Shores. Thank you, Wade. Remind me to kick you in the head when I see you next. Remind you? This is one of those jobs I hope I mess up. My spotters tell me you're back in Los Santos, Mr. Phillips. What excellent news. Oh, don't mind me, Marty. I'm just here to kill some of your people. I'm told you've come back to Los Santos, Trevor. Tell me where my wife is before you are killed. Wow, oh, she is a long way from your lies and your abuse, Martin. That's all you need to know. My spotter saw you coming into the city, Michael. You will be dead soon. The city? Well, no, 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 you got the wrong guy, Mr. Madrazzo. I'm out in the country. Long holiday. Welcome back to Los Santos, Michael. I'm sorry you won't be alive long enough to enjoy it here. Hey, call your boys off. I'll make it good. Come on, man. I just want some wheatgrass. The great homecoming. Los Santos has missed you, Michael. So have my boys. How many you want to lose, Martin? How many? As long as you die, it really doesn't matter. Is it the brownies? Or does that girl got three tits? <laughs> oh, high school. Even my son likes that movie. Michael! I'm back in town, Mr. Richards. You want to get together? I'd love to, but I'm in Liberty City getting some lifetime achievement thing. <laughs> Little do they know, my third act starts now. Meltdown! Meltdown, baby! Hey, I'll see you when you're back. Hey man, I was just thinking about you. Really? Why's that? The place where you stay? It's like a crime scene, dawg. Yeah, tragedy struck soon after I left. Sure, sure, whatever. Where you at now? Currently reside at the Vanilla Unicorn. You gotta come by. Cool, I love that spot. Say what up to Leon for me. Leon, 
Sure, yeah, I'll see if he's around. Hello. <sighs> Who is this? It's me. I shouldn't have called. P Patricia! Mrs. Madrazo! <laughs> hey! Are you behaving, Trevor? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Patricia, I really miss you. A time together. It was, it was very important. I... I have to go. Let me ask you something, great unearther of conspiracies. Sure. Shoot. Why didn't you see the big lie right under my nose? Michael fucking Townley. Is he Illuminati or Anunnaki? No! Oh, he's a lizard! Oh boy, I knew it! He's not a lizard! He's a liar! And a cheat! I... I thought we knew that! Yeah, Brad's dead! Letters! Written by the feds! Shit, the feds? What are you gonna do? Uh, I don't know. Got you for failing to figure this out? I'm thinking about it. Where are you, pricks? Come on! Uncle T. Hey, kid. Tell me again about how much you hate your father. Hate him? I, I don't hate him. We didn't... Well, we don't get along all the time, but I kind of sort of realizing I love him, despite him being such an asshole. Mm, that's bullshit, kid! Have I taught you nothing? He is a heartless, selfish prick, and we both know it! T, you're scaring me. Look, please don't do anything, okay? Don't kill him, please! Please, 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 please! Oh, you know, you are his kid after all. Mr. Phillips, have you reconsidered? Mr. Cheng, lay it out for me again there, Bro Rice. What were the options? Forgo your interest in Blaine County, or never see your Mr. Dissenter again. Ooh, mm, my business or my boyfriend. Eww, yeah, that's tough. I guess I looked at that pretty face for the last time. We have delayed acting to give you a chance. Soon, it will be too late. Patricia, Mrs. Madrazo. Trevor, oh, I miss you, all you boys. I miss you too. I, c I can't speak for the other boys. You're such good friends. Uh, it's a bit more complicated than that. Actually, Michael and I, uh, not speaking. Old friendships cannot be replaced. Hey, how are you? Is Martin looking after you? He's here. I've got to go. Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Uh, let's see. His phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, the last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? Lester Crest! I'm amazed you're still with us. Just barely. Look, Franklin needs to see you. He had some trouble securing payment on that last deal. He needs to find Michael. Oh, look, I don't know nothing about that, but if he had trouble getting payment, that's my problem, too. I mean, I took half those cars. Fine, whatever. Just tell him you don't know where Michael is, but do it in person. He'll be at his old place on Forum.
Hey, man, what the fuck? You said paid on delivery. You were paid into an investment fund that I'm gonna manage for you. Man, this is fucking bullshit. It may seem that way to someone uninitiated in the ways of the world, but this is really the best thing for you. Ask your friend Michael. He'll tell you I'm a useful guy to know. I ain't talking to Michael. I'm talking to your ass. Namaste, Frank. Mr. Chang. Mr. Phillips. I hear your lover left us. Yeah. What's with that? I thought you were gonna get rid of him for me. More of my men die, Mr. Phillips. I have put them on your account. You will soon have to pay. No, oh, well, I'm good for it, pal. You know where to find me. F. Dizzle. Man, please speak like an adult. Franklin, shit, I'm sorry. All right, man, shit, how you feeling? Good, man. Uh, I'm glad Dad's back behaving normally. Yeah. Well, he needs his family, dawg, for real. So you guys should try to be there for him, man, not give him so much shit, all right? Can you do that for me? I guess we can try. Later on, bro. Big Papa. Hey, Jim. It's good to have you back in the house. Shit, yeah, it's good to be back. My neck's like totally screwed from sleeping on sofas. Can I get a massage on your medical insurance? No, no, no you can't. We should have a masseuse on staff now you're a big movie producer. Let's just get the first show out the door, okay? You coming to the premiere? Oh yeah, it's like my one hope of getting laid ever. I'm all over it. Mr. Cheng Tang, how's it going? Swimmingly, Mr. Phillips. And you? Oh, I can't complain. Business is booming, you know. Plain County, yes. Rich pickings, indeed. Mmm, we could use some healthy competition. Whenever you wanna come on down. When we come, you will know about it. Do not worry. You made it. Good. I saved you again, Davy. Again! So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather, Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable. But not Trevor. Steve. He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him. Calm him down. Just get me out. Stretch. Franklin, dog. You got to control the homie Lamar. Dude is on one. Ball is a piss. Man, ain't nobody controlling Lamar. Not me. Not you. Man, you know what? Fuck the ballers. Homie can get controlled, homie, but it's an irreversible process, if you feel me. Oh, you got jokes, huh, motherfucker? Man, Lamar gonna be fine, dawg. I hope he is, punk, for both y'all sakes. Shout if you need me. Hey, Trevor, what's up? Nothing much. Good to hear a friendly voice. So, I heard that Michael dude ain't dead no more. Yeah, for a fat, lying shit, he's surprisingly resilient. What you gonna do? That's the question. That is the question. Listen, I gotta go. Hey, Trevor, dog, I was gonna call you. L.D. Why's that? To thank you, dog. Coming up to that fucking sawmill, mashing up them ballers. Hey, what are friends for? Man, loyalty's a hard thing to come by, my dude. You's a real homie. Franklin called me. Thank him, man. I'll see ya. Oh, it's you. Mr. Disloyalty got time to call, huh? Stress sold you out to the ball, and I'm Mr. Disloyalty? For real? Man, you gotta get your fucking facts straight, homie. I'm oh, straight, homie. Frank you the one gone all crooked. If you'd have been there, I wouldn't have fell for that stress shit. Shit, man. Man, whatever, homeboy. 
Don't let them fools come at you again, dawg. I might not get word next time. Whatever, nigga. I gotta go. Hey, little homie. Homie? Man, I ain't your fucking homie. Giving Lamar up to the ballers? Lamar ain't tripping off that shit. You shouldn't either. I ain't tripping. Homie learned a lesson. That's OG's prerogative. Man, that's fucked up shit, Stretch. Man, you better pray I don't see your ass for real. Punk ass bitch, you have any idea who you talking to? Hey, Jim. Dad, why didn't you tell us about the premiere? Mom and Trace are like freaking out trying to get ready for the red carpet. Oh, yeah, shit. Sorry. I should have given you more warning. It kind of crept up on me. Have you actually got a tux? No, I gotta pick one up at Ponsonby's. Hey, meet me there. We'll go together. Time up, piece of shit. Devin. Hey, look, I'm sorry. My legal counsel. It was an accident. I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey, lawyers come and go. But you made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something that I am not gonna forget. Namaste. Devin Weston. Hey, buddy, your friend Michael is a dangerous guy to be around. Well, guess what? I'm a dangerous guy, too. And will be until I get the cash that need to be paid. Hey! Michael is fucked with the wrong guy. The chips are falling, and you better make sure you're on the right side of the table, pal. I'm fucking pretty sure I'm where I need to be. Patricia. Trevor. Oh, mm, it's good to speak to you. My thoughts are with you. Is he, uh, Martin? Is he treating you well? If you ever... You're a sweet boy, Trevor. A sweet man. Oh, Patricia. I really miss you. I have to go. Capitalism depends on one thing and one thing only. A steady supply of idiots. Yeah, um, I, I, I'm sorry, I can't place it. Meltdown, of course! Michael, what happened? You weren't at the party. I didn't even get to the screening. Devin Weston made things personal. Look, you gotta stay away from me for a while. Is this about Molly? I'll call you in a few weeks when this thing dies down. It was great working with you, Solomon. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. Michael! Did you find them? Who? The person who sent the mercenaries to our house! I'm working on it. Are we safe? You said we would be safe. He's not gonna try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you, baby. I'm gonna take care of this. Woo! Too close! Trace? Daddy! Are you okay? Yeah, sure. Why not? Cause some guys came to our house with automatic weapons, maybe? I'm dealing with that, honey. You don't need to worry. Money doesn't matter when you're dead, Daddy! Hey, you missed the show, buddy. Trouble at home? You came for my family, asshole? Oh, I thought going after women was fair game. Molly died in an accident while following your orders. And I'm sorry for that. Okay? Well, accidents happen, don't they? Hey, send your private army after me if you have to, pal. I won't be hiding. Shit, Frank! You know some guys just tried to kill us at the house? Man, fuck! Who? Uh, Devin Weston, that rich investor guy? Pretty weird. Damn, Devin fucking Weston, huh? Of course. I told your dad he was bad people. Did he come for you, too? Nah. Shit, nothing like that. But he did rob me, man. Is everyone okay? Yeah, yeah, we're gangster, dog. Uh, shit. Okay, man, look. Look after yourself, all right? TP, 
The Enterprise, main campus. All right, Ron. What's happening, Trevor? We're undergoing a transition. Oh, yeah? I think that Chinese problem might be taken care of, and there's money in the bank. Well, the O'Neills are gone, and the bikers ain't shown up again. So we're rich and at peace. Long as the forces of corporate darkness don't identify us as a threat, there's nothing to hold us back. Yeah. I guess we're all out of excuses. Hey, Lamar. That was above and beyond, homie. Ain't nothing above and beyond when it comes to the homies, homie. <laughs> a nigga just want to be helpful, you heard me? I'm serious, dawg. That's hood. Mike and Trevor, too. We grateful. You a real homie, and I love you, dawg. You too, homie. You done with this bullshit now? Almost. A couple loose ends. Aw, oh, shit. I know that voice. You creeping on some fools, huh? All right, nigga, we'll handle your candle. Lay low, my nigga. Hey, crazy man, you calling me to share some of that metal, dog? Nah, I'm calling to thank you for backing us up. Nothing says thank you like a gold bar, homie. Nothing says thank you like saying thank you. You're a good kid. I'm a poor kid. Man, shit. Hey, homie. Hey, what's up, dog? I thought you should know, man. Stretch is dead. He an OG. An uh, OG? Man, that nigga try to set us up to get clapped, nigga. And he try to get us sold a brick of drywall. He a dangerous motherfucker, man. Now he gone. Probably for the best, homie. But I'm sure I am lucky to have a cold-ass motherfucker like you to make them decisions, nigga. <laughs> yeah, you are, nigga. We forget a thousand things every day. Can't we just make this one of them? Arthur Penny's sanatorium. Michael, my boy! Is everything okay? Yeah, I mean, the economy's fucked. The industry I love has screwed itself. My kids are still useless, but yeah, things are okay. When are we making our next movie? Soon, Michael, soon. You don't know anyone with some liquidity for financing. This union depository thing has really shook the market. Actually, I know a guy who's come into some cash. Let's do lunch. Excellent! I'll see you soon. I love you, Michael. And I mean that with all the sincerity a movie producer can muster. Michael! Davey! Are you behaving yourself? Oh, but of course. And how are the kids? They're good. I actually mean that. Amanda, too. How's work? Work? Ah, it's fine. Better than fine. It's good. Had a few lucky breaks. Look after yourself, Mike. You too, Davey. You too. Hey, boo, what's happening? Uh, hi, Franklin. I'm calling to tell you I'm getting married. Shit, I knew that. I mean, like, tomorrow. Oh, uh, shit, okay. You know, you will find someone, Franklin. But before that, you gotta grow up. I mean, seriously. You didn't want to hang out with Lamar because he was too crazy. But, well, do you really think you moved on from craziness? Look, thanks for the lecture, all right? But listen, I'm happy for you, honestly. I am, man. I mean, I'll see you around, all right? Take care of yourself. Yeah, Kiflam. What? Where the hell are you? Ah, somewhere in the desert. I'm on a journey. A large amount of peyote and ketamine kind of journey? No, more of a search for the truth kind of journey. A test. It's a long story. Truth? You spent the last ten years failing that test, my friend. <laughs> Look, I gotta keep moving, T. Just two more miles to go. Then you call me crazy. 